Let us pray. Almighty and living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit and share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mine will never be. 
Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, this very night, before the call crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I shall have to die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples spoke likewise. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is Withdrawing the second time, he prayed again. My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they would not keep his their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand, when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a large crowd, with swords and cloths, who had come from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged a sign, with them saying, The man as your kiss is the one arrest him. Immediately he went over to Jesus and said, Hello, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus answered, Friend, do what you have come for. Then stepping forward, they laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. And behold, one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to his sword, drew it, and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into the sheep, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot call upon my father, and he will not, and he will not provide me at this moment with more than twelve millions of angels? But then, now would the scripture be fulfilled, we say, that it must come to pass in this way. At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out against the robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day I sat teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me. But all this has to come to pass, that the writings of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus led him away to Sarah's, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the high priest's courtyard. And going inside, he sat down with the servants to see the outcome. The chief priest and the entire Sahendra kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. Though many false witnesses came forward, finally two came forward who stated, This man is saying, I can destroy the temple of God, and then he relates to the The high priest rose and addressed him, Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I order you to tell us on the oath before the living God, whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him in reply, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the cloud of heaven. Then the high priest 
tore his robes and said, He was blasphemed. What further need have we of witnesses? You have now heard the blasphemy. What is your opinion? They said in reply, He deserves to die. Then they spat in his face and struck him, while some slapped him, saying, From the Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilee. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know why you are talking about. And as he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you two are one of them, even your speech. At that he began to curse and to swear. I do not know the name. And immediately a cock crowed, and Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. When it was morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, his betrayer, seeing that Jesus had been condemned, deeply regretted what he had done. He returned the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have seen the betrayed innocent law. They said, What is that to us? Look, Look to it yourself. Flaying the money into the temple, he departed and went off and hanged himself. The chief priest gathered up the money, but said, It is not lawful to not do this in the temple treasury, for it is the price of blood. After consultation, they used it to buy the potter's field as a burial place of foreigners. That is why that field even today is called the field of blood. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the value of a man with the price on his head, a price set by some of the Israelites, and they paid it out for the potter's field, just as the Lord had commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor who questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, do you not hear how many demons that are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you? The rabbis for Jesus called Christ. For he knew that it was out of envy that they had hand him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask the rabbis to destroy him, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, Let, Let him be crucified. But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the loud, Let, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to where your souls. And the whole people said in reply, His blood be upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but after he had Jesus 
scourge, who hand him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crowd out of the thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify. And as they were going out, they met a Caesarean named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he had tasted, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who will destroy the temple and rebuild it, wait, let us see Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit.
my brothers and sisters watching at home. Uh, with the reading, with the reading of the Passion, we have really begun <clears throat> our celebration of the Holy Week. I know to some of us at home, it seemed different because of what we are all going through together throughout the whole world. Look, I'm wearing this because the Lord says when you're outside, you have to put it on. It looks ridiculous, but it is to save us. And please, brothers and sisters, listen to the authorities. When you're outside, cover up. It will save lives. Now, under that, this Holy Week seems different. Um, a lot of priests, believe you me, I know brothers and sisters, we're going through a lot of us maybe wondering, where is God? Has God abandoned us? Why is God letting this pandemic happen? Why are we going through all this? Why are many people dying every day here in the city? I think yesterday, uh, was it yesterday on the news, I heard that over 1,000 people died in one day. And it's shocking because New York City is not that big of a city. I mean, it's a city of a lot of people, but in terms of uh, 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 ge ge geographically, I mean, you can go from uh, one end of Manhattan to the other, you know, from south of Manhattan to the north, in, I mean, disregarding traffic. You can zip through Manhattan in 10 minutes, I think. It's a 40 mile island. It's not that big of a, you know, of an area. It has a lot of people, but it's not that big. Uh, Bronx and, and Brooklyn and Staten Island is slightly bigger, but it gives you an idea of how big the city is. And to have a thousand people just die in one day is shocking. And it's due to this horrible virus that we're all going through. My brothers and sisters are crying and receive calls. Where is God? Has God left us? Has He abandoned us? No, God has not abandoned us. God is going through this with us. I know it is difficult to see His heart, our fates are shaken, are being tested, even as I'm speaking to you. And what is God asking you and myself? He's asking us to hold on, to have faith. Even as we're going through this, I'm sure I, I know of some people, some parishioners of St. Catherine here in Manhattan and are going through us in a, in a fight of their lives because of this virus. And some in the Bronx that died. There's a lot of people um, that, you know, you may know somebody who knows somebody or you may have a family member that's going through this and it's, it's hard to comprehend. It's very difficult to even begin to digest. And I'm sure a lot are crying out that people are mocking the church, they're mocking God and the church are using this opportunity to say, hey, see, where is your God? Mm -hmm. But Jesus in the gospel today went through the same mockery, experienced the same pain and suffering as he chose to leave his glory in heaven and come down here to die for you and for me to die for all of us so that we can in turn inherit or benefit from his life. And as he was going through that labor of love, because he loves all of us and people were mocking him. Oh, if you're really related to God, why don't he come down and save you from the cross? Ha ah, I see you were all wrong. And all that suffering, the passion had to happen exactly that way so that we can be free from our bondage. I know philosophers or people who are, you went to school maybe, you know, maybe thinking or saying, why is God having it that way? Why is it necessary that we have to suffer? If God is all powerful and all loving God, why is he allowing suffering in our lives? See, this is a mystery, my brothers and sisters, but Jesus promised all of us that at the end, we will understand everything and we will all praise God in his infinite wisdom. That we will go, wow, God, you are good and loving. All your judgments are true, as the, the psalm puts it. That well, how wonderful are your ways beyond ours. Right now, as human beings, we may not understand a lot of things we're going through, but believe you me, all the answers will be given to us. Everything will be as everything will be 
um, how do you say, in God's wisdom, perfect. But right at this moment, it is necessary as deemed in God's divine providence that we pass through difficult times, times for joy, times for mourning, times for distress, times for partying, times for this, times for that. But this too shall pass. This too shall pass. As he lay on that cross dying, everything, he seemed like everything he worked for, for the three years at least, that led up to that was in vain. Peter denied him, the rest of the apostles took off with the exception of John. John was a young boy at the time, so I guess, I don't know, but John, John the youngest one, was the one that hung around. The other ones disappeared. But he went through it anyway, because he loves you, he loves me, he loves all of us. And today, he's asking you and me, all of us, to hold on, to hold on. Those that cannot make it to church, pray at home, pray the rosary, cry to our Blessed Mother, pray to the saints to intercede for us so that soon we can all reunite and praise God for his wisdom and praise God for his love and praise God for his passion and death for you and for me, for all of us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. that God will console them and members of their family 
as they carry their cross in the footsteps of our Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. Then for our brothers and sisters as well who have died due to this horrible illness, the numerous men and women, children, uh, uh, elderly, that have lost their life to this terrible pandemic, the Lord, please console that the Savior will console them and receive their souls into heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear And for the prayers that we all hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Merciful Father, hear the prayers of your children and grant us what we ask of you according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen.
holy sacrifice our spotless victim. The humble prayer we ask your mighty God, command that these get before by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. In a special way, we remember our brothers and sisters throughout the whole world that have lost the battle against this illness. Grant them, O oh Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs. We join the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, and Thomas, Ignatius, Alexander, and Salinus, Peter, Felicity, Capetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you to their company, not waiting our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life. Bless them and bestow them upon us. Through
Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
holy, peaceful, uh, holy weekend. Please stay safe. If you're outside, cover up. I know it looks ridiculous, but this is safe light. You know, so please, cover away your mask and your gloves when you're outside, and please maintain social distance and at least six feet or eight feet from each other so that uh, we don't continue uh, um, to be helping, so that we help in fighting against uh, the transmission of this horrible virus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By your hands and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O oh Lord, on this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, Amen. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Before the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, Father.